Born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria, on her personality, Kayla Onuo takes us on a journey of style, her sexiest man, and what principles she's guided by. Graduate of Bowen University, Kayla Onuo playfully told us how gorgeous she is on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> 10. Because, you know, I was created by the one and mighty God, and God is perfection. So even though we deal with our insecurities, I would say 10. With a certificate in acting, film, and drama, she lets us in on what kind of kid she was growing up. A tomboy! You know, I was that kid that, you know, just loved to hang out with the guys because I thought the guys were cooler and, you know, just a very respectful kid, very friendly, um, very bold, and very confident. She let us in on the principles that she is guided by. I'm mostly guided by the principles that my parents left for me. Uh, you know, the way I was brought up, my parents taught me so many things and that's, that's, the, that's the result of what you can see, you know. Um, just being honest, integrity, uh, loyalty and all those things that, you know, embodies a man. And also just knowing that nobody is perfect and that you have imperfections that, you know, people might see and not want to associate themselves with you, but that's pretty much what's kept me grounded, just the way I was brought up by my parents. She told us who influences her style. I have a personal sense of style. Do you know what I mean? I, I've always loved to put things together, but you know, my major influence would have to be my mom because I watched her you know, get ready, put her stuff together, get ready for a meeting, get ready for a presentation. Uh, you know, she pretty much told me that, you know, as a woman, even though I was a tomboy, as I was that tomboy that was well put together, you know, I wasn't because I was a tomboy, so I was just like all over the place. So, um, so that's pretty much what influenced her, just seeing my mom put herself together. She also talked about who her favorite style icon is. It's tough because I have a lot of people that I follow and I like, so it's bits and pieces of that. But if I look at it, if I, if I want to take a holistic approach, I'd have to say Victoria Beckham because she, her style actually evolved. It, was never, it wasn't a case like she was always a fashionista, but even when she was with the Spice Girls, she just had, even though, even though her style was a bit off, it was different. You know, she, was, she, was, she stood out from the crowd, so till date I would say she's pretty much one of those, even though I don't, I don't have a, her body, so. For the greatest woman who ever lived? Uh, that would have to be my mom, you know. Um, like, I, like I did say earlier, my mom is, you know, she's, she's the definition of strong. Uh, in the, Every good thing that you want in a mom, and also, I think for me, why I would say my mom is the greatest woman that ever lived, and I'm happy that she's still alive and here with me, is, you know, she, she has, got, she has done it all. She's gone through everything that you can ever imagine. And I've seen how she had, she's gracefully um, handled it. Success, uh, disappointments, everything that you can imagine a woman would go through, she has gone through and she's still standing tall. And I'm totally proud of her, so my mom has to be the one. Talking about the sexiest man in the world. Um, I'm not going to give that to anyone, to be honest, because I really love guys. Um, for me, the sexiest man alive would be any man who's tall, well-groomed, well-behaved, just that, you know, that, that, um, that possesses that embodiment that every woman dreams of as a sexy man. Yeah, that's my, that's my man, but he has to be tall. I'll take it slow, make you lose control. Graduating with a degree in banking and finance, she tells us what her greatest achievements are. Um, my, my, my life is a work in progress, you know. I, I celebrate every single achievement that I've received 
uh, throughout my life, my career. But I think one thing that I'm really proud of is being able to um, to say this is what I want to do in life and go for it, regardless of you know what people said and how people perceived it. So I think for me, the greatest thing is saying I studied banking and finance, and, and finance, but I want to be a radio host and a media personality, and I'm doing it against all odds. She gave us her honest opinion of the Euro Lagos Ensemble. Um, Euro Lagos is definitely that brand that caters to the African type of woman. You know, I know she caters to all sorts of you know the figures, but I I see her as someone that has looked at our body types and 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 catered to it, and also made us look sexy. So it's not about the clothes or the color. It's it's the way it fits. It's the way it makes you feel. And every time I go there, I get like great service. So that's like. Two plus two, four. So she's just modernized what is basically a tradition. So on 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 a, on a scale of one to ten, I would say ten because her her designs are you know that that they they are diverse. So you can pick this that this this and add it together. And hey, you know, just bling down. I think it's pretty good. Like when in these streets moving. I guess I'm in now again. Why she keep calling? She told us how she felt being picked as one of the Euro Lagos Achiever women. Very honored, you know. Um, we have so many women out there who are doing remarkable things that I'm equally proud of and out of the lot, you know, I was chosen and, you know, and, and they said, Kayla, we would like you to be part of this. So I, I feel very honored. I feel, I feel appreciated. Uh, it, you know, we live in a world where we hardly get appreciated. People are working so hard. So I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm grateful and I'm thankful. And I would like to say big shout outs to the entire team. I, I'm happy. It, it, it's given me it's given me a level of confidence, like it's boosted my confidence to know that, okay, whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm doing it right. And I'm, you know, I'm, I've, I'm a great example to a lot of women out there that it, 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 it really feels, it feels good. I'm, I'm very honored and very thankful. <laughs>